What you're seeing right now in front of you at the top of the screen is a text message. And that text message I have hidden inside of that image you see right below at the circuit board. This is literally a hidden message that is both hidden in plain sight and encrypted that can be transferred over the internet through Facebook and nobody would ever know about it. That's exactly what I'm going to be showing you today in our tutorial all about steganography. So stay tuned and enjoy the video. Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Vicious and welcome to a brand new tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys step by step how to perform a process called steganography. Now I'm sure you didn't find the tutorial by searching that term directly, but what I have here is the definition pulled up on Wikipedia. Steganography is the process of basically concealing a message image or file within another message image or file. So you're hiding something in plain sight and you can transfer that information to somebody or somewhere without anyone else being aware. That's different than say encrypting something where you can send a file to somebody. Anyone who finds that file knows that it exists but they can't view its contents because they don't have the keys to unlock it. So what this does is it's hiding in plain sight think about what that means. We are able to use messages uh, from uh, images, from video files, from a lot of different things. And with today, one of, the, one of the things that's huge is social media. So we have Facebook. And Facebook is one of the places that have the most images transferred from user to user every single day. So just imagine the capability of sending somebody a message on Facebook and it actually contains a hidden message. That is exactly what we'll be doing today and, and I'm going to be showing you how to do it. So the tutorial is twofold. It's showing people how to do it so you can have fun with this if you want to be curious and try it out. And it also serves as a warning system for some parents and stuff out there that might have children doing this and sending things that they don't want their parents knowing about um, so that you can kind of be aware that this exists because you'll never notice it until you're looking for it. So steganography we're going to be using image files to contain a hidden message today. And there are lots of free programs out there that can do this, but what I discovered by trying those out is that most of the time Facebook tends to change up the image file that I upload in such a way that when I download that image again, the, the, the message got lost. But what I found was a purpose-made plugin for Chrome that actually has this feature built in and it's made exclusively for Facebook. So its entire purpose in existing is to encrypt these messages and then decrypt them and it's all built right into your browser. So what you need to do is you need to be using Chrome as your browser and we're going to go to the Chrome store and we're going to download this plugin. So from our settings we can go to extensions and get more extensions and that takes us to this URL here which is uh, chrome.google.com web store. And from there we can type in secret book. That is the name of the extension. So here it is, secret book. I already have it installed. And since you don't have it installed yet, you'll see a little box that says plus free. Just click on that plus free box and it automatically installs it for you. Once you have installed it, make sure you close your Chrome browser and then reopen it so that it initializes the extension. So we're going to close all these tabs and we're going to go over to the uh, Vicious Computers Facebook page. And we're going to now go ahead and show you how to create one of these images. So <clears throat> find yourself an image online that you want to use and go ahead and download it to your computer somewhere. Open up your Facebook page and hit these keys. The control key, the alt key, and then the letter A. And you will get the secret book GUI to pop up and it will show you basically how to create this. First you have to choose your image file. So we'll go ahead and choose a file now. And I'm going to be using a circuit board image that I found. <clears throat> and it tells me that I have enough space for 131 characters to hide in that image. This is a, uh, a plain image. Let me show it to you real quick. Just a good old circuit board that I grabbed off of a Google image search. So nothing special about it. Now we're going to go to the message part. I'm going to say, welcome to Vicious Computers. Please like my Facebook page because it's totally lacking. I never actually really promote my page and I actually probably should try to do that more often. And the uh, password, uh, we're not only just hiding the message in plain sight, but we're also encrypting it and you'll need to use the password as the key to unlock that message. So in this case, the password is going to be vicious computers, 
all lowercase, all one word. So V I C I O U S C O M P U T E R S. Hit create and download. And it downloaded that file for me to my downloads folder. So <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and type up a post now steganography tutorial test, and I'm going to add an image. And I need to add the one that we downloaded, which is this image file here. So there's our circuit board image, and we're going to post that. So I can guarantee you that if you looked at the original photo and now you looked at this modified one, you could not conceivably see any difference with your naked eye. But now on this image is a hidden message, and we're going to view that message the same way that we created it, the same hotkeys. So you click on the image and open it up inside of Facebook, hit Control, hit Alt, and hit A. And now we get a new prompt. It says, please enter the password to decode. So that was vicious computers. All one word, lowercase, and we hit OK. And look at this. Message decoded. Welcome to Vicious Computers. Please like my Facebook page. That is how easy it is. And it's it's both really cool and kind of creepy at the same time. I'm working on my security certification now, which is why I came across this. And I figured uh, I would search YouTube and see what's going on in YouTube world about this. Nobody, not one person has a tutorial or information on this secret book plugin. So I figured I'd be the one that would bring it to you first, share the word, and um, go ahead and just test it out. I will, in the description of the video, put the link to the Facebook page. And you guys can find this post and click on that image and try to decode it and see if you guys can view that. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and found it useful and entertaining. This was Vicious, and I'll see you next time.